New at 530, we've seen major backups at ports in other major cities like New York and Los Angeles. But what about here in South Florida? We aren't seeing the same traffic, but some importers say delays here could drive up prices. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn has more on how this could impact your wallet. Here's one of the cargo ships coming in here with the containers. And, you know, for the most part, these ships are able to come here into Port Everglades and then unload and then leave again. And that's what the bigger picture here in South Florida really looks like. You can see the problem in Los Angeles area ports above and in real time with marine traffic mapping. Many cargo ships waiting to come into the ports. That problem has yet to show up in South Florida, where it's busy but clear. I haven't seen that level of delays here in Miami, at least as far as perishables goes. I don't think even for dry cargo. Andreas Campo is CEO of HLB Specialties. He talked to us during a business trip in Guatemala. Because obviously you get tired after a while of eating the same that you have been eating all your life. Campo tells us the pandemic has changed people's habits and driven demand for tropical fruits, which he imports to large chains. And with that, did that extra demand came more pressure on us to bring more fruit. In contrast to Los Angeles, South Florida is seeing ship traffic flow faster, but Campo faces another problem at Port Miami. What we have seen is delays after the containers are at the port released uh, because we're having shortage of drivers that can move out the cargo from the port into final delivery to uh, importers' warehouses in South Florida mainly. Port Everglades expects to stay busy for some time. So what we're seeing now as the recovery continues are, are record container movements. The counts uh, for the months of June, July and August at Port Everglades have been records. In fact, last year, Port Everglades added new cranes, ones that will unload even bigger ships. Uh, our connectivity is actually fantastic uh, with the Florida East Coast Railroad. Uh, our access to 595 and 95 really puts us an advantage to be able to bring cargo in quickly and to be able to distribute it and get uh, and get off site. But more manufacturing and produce is expected to come. Uh, the containers, the freight went up. Uh, labor has gone up also in these countries. So it's, it's complicated. I definitely think that we are going to see more and more increases in, in, in terms of food pricing in the next few weeks and months. It's really a bittersweet situation for importers like HLB Specialties. Demand is up, but the pandemic has them facing new challenges. In Port Everglades, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.